Hello there, YouTube. It's me, Yellow again, coming at you with another figure review. And today, we're going to be doing, of course, as you can read, Crimson Typhoon. And I have a funny story behind this. I said, as I said in my Godzilla 1985 video, that I did order a dual pack from ToyWiz.com of uh, my Gypsy Danger 2.0 and Tactic Ronin. That was supposed to be these guys. I actually got two figures. I still got two Jaegers, but I got another. Uh, Striker Eureka, and if you follow me on Instagram, you re you know that uh, my previous striker broke during when I was articulating it. His arm broke off, so it's kind of nice having a new one. Um, but luckily, I did work with my mother today. I work with, I help her work during cleaning houses and stuff. That's pretty much how I pay for these figures. And I was able to still buy a cheaper Gypsy Danger 2.0, and I got Chernal Alpha. So I have those two guys on the way. Hopefully, they'll be here uh, within you know the next week. Um, and I have Axe Head coming. He'll be here around next week. Uh, the you know the concept figure Axe Head. So I have a I have a couple figures on their way. But um, I'm not really too disappointed with the two figures I got because the two figures I got uh, as you know mess ups were actually two figures that I've been needing. I've been needing to get this. I found him. I saw him at Toys R Us. Here he is. But his his head was off in the box. And uh, I wasn't really looking to buy any Pacific Rims at that time. But, and I kind of regretted it because he was so cheap there. But I got him now. And I the, the price I got him, which was like 40 bucks for both of them, that would be a lot cheaper if I actually bought both the figures from Amazon. Seeing as how that, the prices have raised a lot for the uh, figures. But, yeah, so I got him, and I've been really excited to open him up, but I've been saving him for you guys. So, as you can see in the packaging, uh, he is looking away, I don't know why. As it says up here, second deployment, Pacific Rim, Jaeger, he has 13 kills, which is actually more than Striker Eureka. I previously believed that Striker Eureka had the most kills, I guess not. But they did say in the movie that this guy was guarding the... Great wall, and I don't know how I forgot how much t how long they said he was guarding it for, but it was a very long time for a robot to be out there guarding a wall. So I would expect him to get a lot of kills while he was out there, or she, as they call them, girls. Here we have a nice um, uh, concept art picture of him. It looks very cool. Not very much like he does in the movie. It looks more like uh, kind of steampunkish retro in this picture as opposed to how he appeared in the movie which is more you know sleek and futuristic like this but here we have uh the pam logo right there i, I think that's what it's called I, I i can't remember uh jaeger crimson typhoon you have a warning choking thing right there a nice clamshell packaging showing off the figure it says pacific rim second deployment i think this is their way of saying it's from the second line which is pretty neat. It says Jaeger. You can see he has um, a kill tally of 13 kaiju, which is very, very impressive. He even has it right there on his chest. We'll get into that when we open them. Side of the packaging, there's nothing. Back of the packaging, you have a nice picture of the product right here. It says Crimson Typhoon. He's a Mark IV Jaeger. Uh, and you have his emblem right there. It just says Pacific Rim. By legendary by Warner Bros. Pictures and legendary pictures. Sorry if I'm like uh, I've never been able, able to hold a camera straight very well, but I'm doing my best right now. So if it's kind of making you dizzy, I do apologize. So here we have the other figures in the line. Uh, I have my Gypsy, but I don't know where he is at the moment. I've uh, lost track of him, but it's okay because I'm gonna be getting the uh, 2.0. But let's go ahead and uh, take a quick look at this concept picture. You can barely see it in the video, but he does have a the red um, pinup girl on his chest in the in the prototype picture, along with open palms. And when you get the figure, there is no red dot where the pinup girl would be, and the palms are closed fists. So that's why I'm getting 2.0 because at least you get the red dot, and you get the open uh, and closed fists that you can you know sw you know swap. We have Crimson Typhoon, Striker Eureka. I pretty much have all of these. Or be, be getting all of these. I have him, 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 him. I'm getting him. I'm not going to be getting him because I don't really want him. 
So yeah, you have NECA, Real Toys, Legendary, Warner Bros. So, pretty basic packaging. So yeah, let's go ahead and get him out of the packaging and let's see how good he really is. Ah, so, here we have him uh, out of the packaging. Uh, very, very nice figure. Um, another thing I noticed is, uh, as you can see that he has a kill tally right here. When you flip him around, he has a kill tally right here. So the triplets must be very, very uh, proud of their kill tally. So here we have the figure. As you, as the name says, he's a nice crimson color with the last lots of uh, cool gold uh, little decals right here. Uh, he has these three black stripes right there. He has a nice big. Uh, I think their name is the Wangs. I can't remember. I, it's been a while since I've seen the movie, but you have your emblem right there. You have the. Oh no, it's the PDF. That's what I was thinking of. The PDF is the whole organization. I don't know why I said Pam, but yeah, P the PDF logo right here on his uh, wrist. You have the two arms. You have uh, some nice. Chinese uh, symbols right there. That was my heat. There you go. Nice uh, symbols right there. You got the kill tally. Crimson Typhoon right there on his, the back of his uh, shoulder pad. With some nice scuffage right there. That looks really cool. How it looks like he's kind of been through some stuff. I like the black wash over the red. It really gives him like an aged look. That that way he doesn't look too new. Because with these Jaeger figures, you don't want them to look too new. You want them to kind of look like they've been through some stuff. Because no one likes it. No one likes anything that's too shiny, unless it's like he's already a new character in the movie. But he's not a new character. He's a Mark IV, and we already have Mark V, so we want him to look all nice and kind of roughed up, like he's been through some stuff. Or she, my bad. So yeah, you got all these cool decals. You got this nice gun metal for the uh, intersection right here, and you have another uh, another emblem, some Chinese symbols. Got some really nice gun metal colors for all the mechanical parts with a nice silver wash. That really does give it a metal look. It's got the chicken feet going on. Uh, these two, th these three thrusters in the back, so if he gets knocked over, he can kind of thrust himself back up. I'm not sure what these are for right here, but I assume they have some sort of a purpose. Then he has these nice kind of really silvery notches right here on the blaster arm. And another thing I like about this figure that they, it's kind of unique to it that not many of the other figures have in the line is the hands are open. It would have been nice if they would have had interchangeable hands with saws. You know, because he has like the science in the movie. But they might release another version sooner or later. Who knows? I mean, they're already outdoing the Gypsy Danger mold. So they probably might make more like... I was hoping they would make like a rocket launching. Or kind of like how you have a, a magnet on the chest for Striker Eureka. Where you're kind of like shooting rockets out. Or, you know, interchangeable hands for him. But that's all like, you know, over the top. So, now that we went through detail, let's go on to articulation, starting from up. Mine has a really loose head joint, but not like loose as in it pops off, it just is like it moves easily, and it keeps its place, which is really, really nice. Um, he's got a nice uh, shoulder joint right here. Got all kinds of range of movement right there. He got a nice kind of... Uh, joint right there No uh, swivel just this kind of bending right here and then the, the blaster itself's on a ball joint These arms I believe yeah, this arm right here is on a ball joint and then it has a nice uh, Elbow hinge and then these are on a hinge right here I believe yet it's the same for the other arm. He has a nice kind of like ab rotation and crunch. You get a lot of good articulation with him. He got a nice thigh movement right here, along with a good knee joint, so you can, you can get him pretty far back. And his uh, shin right here can go pretty far. 
and his ankles can move outward and inward, but not pivot. So he has a really good articulation for a figure like him. Uh, so I'm guessing the last thing we got to do is size comparison. Here he is compared to the NECA Striker Eureka. Sorry, I kind of blanked out right there. Here he is with the, um, sorry, kind of both of them all bunched up. <clears throat> Get his legs fixed. Here he is with the, uh, battle damage knife head. And last but not least, here he is with the Coyote Tango. Sorry, I had to put it down because none of these figures are ready to be standing up. They're all laying down in my shelf. So yeah, that was my review on the NECA Pacific Rim Crimson Typhoon figurine. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you'd like to see some toy photography and some non-Godzilla posts occasionally, please follow me on Instagram. That is Godzilla uh, underscore Gorgira underscore. I will have the name down in the description. But other than that, thank you guys very, very much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Comment what you think. Comment what I should do. You know, what I should improve on. What I do good so I can, you know, have room for improvement. Because I love having feedback from you guys, as long as it's, you know, constructive, not just, you know, hate mail and stuff like that. So, yeah, thank you guys very, very much for watching, and peace.